hi there welcome back to my channel i'm lisa and as you know if you've been watching my videos already we are heading off on a big trip to the us and today i wanted to talk to you about hand luggage i'm going to show you what i've got in my baggage that i'm taking on the plane with me we are traveling to san francisco for a california road trip we're finishing at disneyland in la and then we're flying over to Walt Disney World in Orlando as well. I will leave a link below to the video which tells you all our trip details so you can go and have a look if you fancy. But today I'm just going to give you a quick tour of my bags and show you exactly what I'm taking on the plane with me and why. So I'm going to start off with my wheelie bag. This is my Kath Kitson wheelie bag. I bought it last year for the trip. I'll leave the link up below when I received it um, and I gave a full review so you can properly see inside and outside what you get with this bag. I'll leave that link for you below but I love this bag. I really do. One of the things, there's two things actually that were really really important to me. The first is is that it's a free wheeling you can move it all the way around really easy and the second is that it's got lots of different sections inside I don't like the you know the really cute Disney ones that you see the hard shells they are so cute but what I don't like about them you've got one compartment and you have to lie it down to get things out it's a faff I want to be able to access the things inside the bag really really easy and that was something I really liked about this bag so I'll show you exactly what I've got in here first thing my neck pillow um, I clip this to the little tag on the top and I use this on the plane. I don't actually ever wear it around my neck, it irritates me, but I lean up against it, um, like against the mirror, not the mirror, there's no mirror, <laughs> the window. Um, I just find that way really comfortable. Sometimes I have it behind my back as well, I get backache on the plane and that's quite cozy. I've got um, two sections here. So when I was looking for a bag, the other thing I really needed was a big pocket on the front to hold my folder. This is my A4 folder that I have all the details of the trip. Everything is printed off in here and it's all in order. I've actually got my Disney itinerary on the front but then it starts with everything from our first premiere in booking at Heathrow to our flight details to the lounge details to the car hire everything in order is in here so this is really really important. I I also keep copies of a marriage certificate as I haven't changed my name properly and everything and we've also got copies of our passports in here as well at the back. I've also got a smaller zip in the front here. Here I keep a pack of cards, my sunglasses for when we arrive the other end, hopefully it will be sunny and I've got a whole bag of quarters ready for the toll roads. Now this is the fun bit, I've then got the zipped section inside. I always take this fat face, it's actually like a scarf but I'm really small, it's really big and it's really soft, I wear it, I'll use it as a blanket on the plane. This is the bit I really like, I started this last year, I have bags and pouches for everything. It made travelling last year so much easier. I can't reach the overhead lockers, so Aid has to do all of that. And it's usually a case I'd have my handbag by my feet, and then he'd have to get all the, or I would get all the bits and pieces out of my bag, but then, you know when it, you've just got so much stuff, you've got books, you've got your iPad, you've got your pens and pencils, just various other things, and then Aid would maybe have to get something else for me during the flight because I'd forgotten. Then it's packing it all back in again before you land. Last year we changed all of that. I packed everything that I would possibly need for the plane in a drawstring bag and now all I need to do is take it out of my wheelie bag before it goes in the overhead locker and pop it by my feet. Isn't that easy? It made life so much easier last year. So I'll show you exactly what's in the drawstring bag. We've got a few of these little Lotus Biscoff um, snacks, biscuit packs to share on the plane, the two of us. I have a pencil pouch. I like this because it's quite compact and these are all the pens that I take with me for whilst I'm away. I have also got watercolour pencils, a couple of highlighters, a watercolour brush, loads of different pens, post-it notes, paper clips, pencils, loads of bits and pieces in there. 
I've also got Uno. I've got my journal as I will be keeping notes, keeping a journal whilst I'm away. I've got a mini planner as well. I do have to work whilst I'm away and I have everything in here. I have got a video coming up actually, um, how I set this up. But basically, I've got everything written down that I need to know for the business. I've got blog posts, I've got YouTube videos, I've got Facebook, everything that I've planned and scheduled whilst I'm away is in here. I've also got shopping lists and at the very back I've got a budget tracker. We do keep a note of everything that we spend each day so we know that we're staying on target. We have a budget for a daily spend. It's got a pen in there as well and I'll keep that in my bag. I also keep a notebook on me and this is also for work. Anything that I need to write down, any reminders for when I get home, if I've sent a payment, anything like that, I keep a note of it in this book. Does anybody else have to work whilst they're away on holiday? Let me know what you do and how much work you do when you're away. I've got a fire. I don't usually take, oh, I have taken iPads on, on board before, but this was, I think, Holly's. She doesn't use it anymore. And AIDS um, added a couple of movies to it. I've got Vacation and We're the Millers. Just a couple of really easy things to watch in case I need it. I've also got a couple of books. I've got this one that I've been reading, this Pacific Coast Highways road trip book, and I'm going to start reading this. I've just read the first few pages. It's a true story. It's about a family that decide to travel the world. They've got two small kids and they travel for a year. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I've also got a portable battery charger. I've got these cheapy spare headphones. They're only £1.50 from Primark. I've got them spare. Everyone in the family has their own headphones, but it's just in case for some reason they don't work, they break. I do have a, a plan B just in case. I also have a headphone splitter. I bought this in Primark a few years ago. It's really, really handy. And I think it was also, yep, yeah, £1.50. Basically, we've had it before. We've been on a flight and one of the little headphone sockets doesn't work. In this case, you can pop it in and you've got a splitter so you can plug two lots of headphones in, into the one section. So it means that you don't have to move seats, you can just stay where you are and you can both share and both listen to your own device or your own screen. And I've also got Mentos, these are Aid Sweets and I've got these in my bag as well. I've also got another little pouch. These pouches, by the way, that I've got are from Disney, the Disney Store UK. And in here I've got treats as well. I've been so looking forward to these. Cheese and pickle flavoured cheese biscuits. I cannot wait. Yogurt coated fruit. So I've got some yogurt coated cranberries. I did buy pineapple and then I ate them and now I can't find them again. And we've also got some giant cola bottles. We also bought some shrimp, some candy shrimp, but we ate those as well, so we need to get some more. And that's what's going in this little pouch. I've actually just emptied the little Biscoff biscuits into here as well, so they're in there as well. So all snacks are in here. Do you take snacks on the flight as well? I don't usually for us. We might take some sweets. I always pack stuff for the kids, but I've never done it for us before. And I'm actually quite excited that we've got a little snack bag. I think Aid's got some of his own treats as well, but I'm most looking forward to those cheese biscuits. Let me know if you take stuff on board as well. And if you do, what you take with you. So that's everything to keep me amused on the flight. I've also got a few other things. I have got the GoPro. Aids put everything that we need in this little plastic bag here. And we will plug this into the hire car when we get inside. We like to film the whole trip. I've also got another bag of wires and things. I to put these all together. There's also a little torch in there. This is for when we arrive and it's for um, wires and things, cables, all to do with downloading all the photos. Um, this will connect with our laptop and we could check it in, but to be honest, we're worried if it were to go missing, it makes our life so much easier being able to back up all of our camera cards. I've got an adapter here, which I'm going to pop in the same bag. And, oh, I found another adapter. I think Aid must have popped those in there. Let's keep all that together. And then I've got another pouch. I'm not sure if I need to add anything else to this. I've got the sat-nav in here. 
I've also got my little camera muff as well, in case you don't know what one of these is. It's a little furry piece that sits on top of your camera by the microphone and if it's blowy or there's any loud noise outside, it just kind of like shelters it and you don't get that, you know, that loud crackling sound. It stops all of that. I've also got a pen and a little um, like hairband. And this pouch is also from Kath Kitson. I've also got a shoulder bag that I'm taking with me. This is a new bag. I bought it from Notebook Therapy, which is, I think they are, they might be Japanese or Korean. I'm not quite sure. Um, they keep coming up on Instagram as an advert and I love all that kind of thing. And I caved one day and bought the bag. It's only recently arrived and I love it. I wanted an across the body bag um, that looked cute, had a bit of space, I wasn't necessarily thinking for hand luggage, but more when we're in the cities, like in San Francisco or Los Angeles, I wanted something that had a zip that was across the body and felt safe. My cross the body bags are either really small or my larger bags that I take are more shoulder bags. So I wanted a combination of both. This ticked both boxes and it was only 20 pounds. I've added a Disney pin from Primark to disney -fy it a little bit and I'm really, really pleased with it. It's adjustable so it sits off the shoulder, goes across the body, but you can also carry it as well. I'm really pleased with this and it holds a decent amount as well. So I'll show you what's in here. It's one space inside with one little pocket which holds my phone. I try and limit what I put in my shoulder bag when I fly because I don't want the weight going through. It still feels a little bit heavy though. Um, I've got my book. You probably would have seen the videos where I set up my trip planner. I'll link that up below. It has everything in here that I need for the trip. All my lists, everything I've paid for, um, everything. We've got zip codes, I've got shopping lists, I've got the itinerary, I've got all the road trip details. Everything that I need is in here so I want it close by me. I also have my attractions, tickets direct pouch and in here I have passports, I've got a little bit of spending money as well. We, do, um, we don't take too much money with us and we spread that throughout us. Um, but we use, when we're away, we use debit cards which are commission free so there's no charges. And we also use credit cards most of the time which again are also commission free so there's no charges. I have my makeup pouch. And this stays with me um, with all my bags when I go out anywhere. If I go to a Disney park, if I go out for the day, I just keep the pouches with me. So if I decide to take a cute Disney over the shoulder bag, I would take the same bag here. And again, using the pouches that I use in my other bag, but I use smaller ones in my shoulder bag, it makes life so much easier. It keeps things together. You don't lose things, you're not scrambling through your bag trying to find things. And if you do want to swap bags, it makes it super, super easy. It's one of the best things I've done changing to pouches in my handbag. I did do a handbag declutter video a few months ago and that's when I first introduced the pouches. I'll link that up below for you. It's made my life so much easier. So I've got my makeup bag. I also have another pouch. This one is super handy in here. I've got plasters. I've got medication for all of us. I've got nail files. I've also got things like Imodium. I've got Sudafed. Holly really struggles with painful ears when she flies. So we give her a decongestant Sudafed and it really helps clear her. I've got gum. I have got Tic Tacs tissues, wet wipes, hairbands, earphones, and I've got earplugs in there for the kids as well. I will also have my camera that I'm using now, and I've also got this little tripod. You can hold it when you're filming, it makes life easier. It doesn't extend though, so you can take it into Disney parks. I also have my little pouch. This is the first time that I've done this. Rather than using the little plastic bags that the airport give you for free, I've actually bought some little cheap bags. I'll link them up below. They're from Amazon. They were really inexpensive. I think eight pounds something for three. And they're just really nice quality bags, but they, I feel like they keep it together really nicely in your bag. And these are all the liquids that I'm taking on board. I've got um, rescue spray. I've got a night cream, 
I've got a really nice pumpkin hand um, cream that I would also use to scrunch my hair mini mascara i've got a really good hand cream i get eczema and this one this hemp hand cream from body shop is amazing have a lippy i love this stuff i'm really hoping to find some more in the states but then it's not on the website anymore it's a like perfume but it's a dabber and it's from urban outfitters and i love it it smells of pandora the ride in animal kingdom it's amazing flight of passage I love it so much but it's a really nice freshening one so it's nice to freshen up as you land I've also got a mini Sephora lip gloss I've got like a lip balm I've got a clear lip balm which is orange also from Sephora I've got this forehead I love this so much it's like a menthol actually I need Holly's menthol stick for, for her ears as well that she sniffs but this one is, it's really good for headaches. I get quite a lot of headaches and I find this really soothing on a plane. It's menthol and really, really good. But it's also really good to sniff on a plane if you're feeling sick or anything like that. Um, we get the Vic sticks for Holly because like I said, she suffers with her ears and apparently it helps clear your airways, just expands them slightly. The doctor recommended it. So she always takes the Sudafed 20 minutes before she flies and sniffs on a Vic stick to help with her ears. And finally, I've got my hand sanitizer. I've got this cute one from Bath and Body Works. And inside I've got Honolulu Sun. So it's a nice coconutty one that smells of holidays. And that just keeps it all together. And aside from my phone, I've also got my purse. I keep this one just for the US. So I keep everything separate so it's easy when you go on holiday. You haven't got any old receipts. You haven't got like all my cards, you know, when you've got your Starbucks, your Costa, your The Works card, your Body Shop card, your New Look card, all the different cards. Nothing like that is in here. I've kept it super, super simple. I've got my driving license. I've got my couple of credit cards that I use in the US. I've got my DVC card. I've got a couple of debit cards that again we can use in the US that are free. I will have change in here. I also keep a spare battery from my camera and a spare memory card for my camera as well. And that's all I will take in my purse, just keeping it really easy. And that's everything in my hand luggage. I was also going to show you because I mentioned before about what I take on the plane for the kids. Our kids now aren't babies anymore. They're teenagers. They take their own backpacks and it's got smaller and smaller what they take on board with them as they've got older. Um, they take um, a fire or an iPad. They obviously take their headphones. Louis would just watch movies for 24 hours solid if he could. So he's happy just watching. Um, Holly takes a sketchbook and pens. They, what else do they take? Um, I think that's about it. Louis takes his cushion, but I will show you what I've got for them. I've bought them a pair of fluffy socks each from Primark. This was a pack of two for 180, just plain black. So they've got snuggly socks for the flight. I've picked up some Tic Tacs for them. I've obviously got the spare headphones and the splitter in my bag. Cards I've got in there as well. They love fruit winders, so I've got a box each for them. Holly is um, vegan and I've bought her some marshmallows for the plane. And also some Percy Pigs. And she's going to pick up some other candy in M&S that's also veggie friendly. And she's going to take that with her. Louis is super, super fussy on the plane. He doesn't really like plain food. I've bought him some cheesy biscuits. A load of gingerbread men. And I will take him some croissants and bagels as well. They don't bother with magazines anymore. I don't read magazines either on the plane and they don't take books or anything like that. But when they were younger, I would take sticker books. I'd take coloring books and crayons. Um, anything like that we used to take and um, that would keep them busy during the flight and they would also be allowed to choose a magazine a couple of days beforehand and I'd take them to the news agents with all the magazines and they'd get their pick as well to take with them. Something else that we always do when we go through Airside, we pop to Boots or Smith's and we all choose a drink and I know you get your free drinks on the plane but we choose a big bottle each 
and um, that's our drink for the flight so we don't have to keep pestering the stewardess obviously when the staff come around and they do offer you a drink we'll take it because we also want to be able to take that drink through to immigration so that if there is a long queue say like we've stood there before for a couple of hours it can get really warm you want to make sure that you have got plenty of drink with you so we also take an extra couple of water bottles on the plane that we don't touch and that's for when we're in immigration just in case we need it plus also then it means that when we arrive in San Francisco we've already got a drink when we get to the car hire we don't have to worry about needing a drink straight away we have actually got something with us and we'll keep snacks with us as well I'll take extra gingerbread men and things like that that are just easy to snack cereal bars just in case we need something in the as we're waiting for our cases or something like that I think no matter what age your kids are, um, you always want to have things like drinks and snacks on you just in case. Also wanted to touch on phones as I have been asked about this. Um, the last, this is the third trip now that we're taking in a row that is a lengthier trip and we have started to buy SIM cards out in the States. Um, we've done it, actually this is the fourth trip now. We've bought one once in the airport in New York that was really easy just bought new sim cards we haven't actually been in an airport since where they've had them though where we've been so we've gone to AT&T when we've arrived like the following morning and we've bought our sim cards they've put them in the phone it's really nice you've got unlimited um, data you can use your phone whenever you want if you need Google Maps if you're on a road trip you don't have to worry about calling anyone or checking Google anything like that you can also ring each other easily when you're in the States you can use WhatsApp to contact your family it's brilliant for using in the parks because Disney Wi-Fi isn't always the best so you know that you can always use your phones and also when you're going to restaurants you can use the call ahead seating many of them we've done it with Texas Roadhouse with Olive Garden lots of them will call ahead they put you on the list when you arrive you get seated straight away you just let them know that you're going to be like 10 15 minutes it's really easy we have skipped so many queues doing that but the other thing we always make sure that we pay cash for these um, sim cards it's just for the month and we know then that no charges can accidentally be taken if it was paid by a credit card there's always that worry that an extra charge the following month might be taken but we know by paying cash it's a one-off um, Aid's going to show you a couple of things that he's got in his bag as well. Um, some packing tips, lots of pouches as well. Exactly, pouches seems to be the word of the year, doesn't it? <laughs> um, well, basically, I've tried to separate these out. We've taken a lot of stuff with us cameras, Lisa probably explained already, laptop stuff, bits and pieces. All for work. And I generally try and keep things together. So I've got various different things, pouches. Pouches. For example, this one here. I'll try to keep it all together as best I can. This has got all laptop type accessories, uh, USB adapters, um, adapters for the laptops, etc. A uh, couple of uh, USB memory cards, uh, travel adapters in there, bits and pieces like that, but it's all computer related. So basically, shouldn't need to touch it for the moment we leave until we actually get there and want to get set up. But this is more for a permanent setup. So for example, that once we're there, we have everything that we want to actually keep set up for like the week or whatever. I then also have one here, this here, it's a wash bag, <laughs> Nivea wash bag actually, but this has in here all of the camera chargers. Um, my Nikon one, there's the Canon one in there. These are all things that although we don't need them on the plane, if one of the bags were to go missing or be delayed, we'd, we'd be, be devastated if we couldn't charge like our cameras, for example. Things like power leads, we've got those in there. But also my, um, I've got a water camera as well. And in actual fact, this was bought in the States. Um, so I've actually got US plugs, that's great. So that just goes in there. Um, but this is everything camera. We've got a couple of USB chargers as well. So if we're on the go, we can charge those as well. But that all goes in there. Again, so we know everything related to cameras is in there in the or charging. Bag. Yes, exactly, <laughs> pouch. There's a spare muff as well there as well. The next one is cables and bits and pieces that when we actually get there to set up, uh, to charge or anything else. Um, didn't use this last year, but I found it upstairs. You were really excited. Yeah, then. it's uh, basically got it from a USB um, USB C leads, 
Uh, we use uh, MacBooks as USB-C and I think most newer laptops are anyway. Um, but obviously we've got lightning cables, we've got normal USB leads as well to charge batteries and other things and torches. Um, but then on the other side of this here... Biscuits. Sorry? Biscuits. Biscuits? Yeah. What's biscuits? I, I expected you to open it just to be like biscuits and no. candy. Um, no. <laughs> wall chargers here. So whatever hotel room or room we're in, we've got Anchor. I love the Anchor brand. Um, but these got two USB ports. So we have one basically by the side of the bed. We've got one each that we can have. If we're just somewhere we use one. Um, but then there's everything in here. The cables are in here for this as well. But also on the other side here, got a spare battery, but also USB port. And then you can see there, there's USB-C on the top. And then there's four USBs. Great thing with this one is, this is really dull for people that aren't interested, but this port itself on the top delivers the necessary power to power the laptop. It isn't shared across others. So you can get that as a problem with some of the multiple port ones, some of the cheaper models. So you just need to watch out for that. Especially for us when we have a lot of stuff connected and trying to charge, etc. We'll have this permanently set up. Two leads that can plug our iPad, etc. Um, so it's basically always there something that's on the go. Again, we'll use this basically if we're staying somewhere for four, five or more nights. So it's set up and then we pack it away when we go. Um, now this is actually quite big. You can put a spare hard drive in there if you need or thumb drives, USB drives. But what might be more useful for some people is this smaller one here. It's really quite thin. It's very light as well. I think I've weighed this when it's empty and it's 80 grams. Because okay. some of them are Why would really you weigh quite heavy. Well, because it's more the fact it all adds to your, your weight in your so. bag. Yeah, you get true. five of these, yeah. and if they're 100 grams, that's half a kilo. Okay. This one here might be more suitable for people that don't have as much stuff. Again, got some leads in there, bits and pieces. There's a hard drive, there's some thumb drives in there as well. But this is really quite small. I mean, that's just sort of iPad size. Um, so that might be a bit of a better option if you haven't got much to take. I mean, these are both from Amazon. Have you got the links? They? I've got the links for them. They still sell them. I think this was about seven pound. I'm not sure this one. I need to check, but like it's maybe 10, 15. But for us, it's all here. It's not rat rattling around in my hand luggage. I don't need to touch it. And probably on the way back, we'll just put it in our checked luggage anyway, um, because this is just used for traveling. Um, I'll leave the links for these below. Let me know if that's of interest to you. But yeah. I think that's it. That's all our hand luggage. Obviously, you've got more hand luggage. I certainly have. But um, we won't go into all of that. It's just boring stuff. Glasses, laptop. Camera, cameras. Yeah. Cameras. Medication, everything. <laughs> but thank you, thank you very much. so much for watching today. We're getting very excited, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, but um, let us know, what do you take in your hand luggage? Do you try and keep it to an absolute minimum? I'd love to know what you I'd take like on to. board. I'd like to. Part of me wish I didn't have to tell. I've always said, I just want to be that person that has that light rucksack. That that's got be you. an iPad, magazine, something like that, my glasses or whatever. Thank you so much for watching today. Leave us a comment, let us know what you take on board with you. Please do share this video with anyone else you think that might enjoy it. Give us a thumbs up as well if you've enjoyed this video and you can go and follow us on Instagram and catch up with all our trip stuff. I am the Funky Fairy and we've also recently set up a Disney Instagram account as well, which is Aid and Lisa Do Disney. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon. See you, bye. bye.